So stay till the end of the video if you want to hear about why me and Gussie are in bed like this. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. 13. We are at, yeah, 13. We are at Snowflake Lane in Bellevue, Washington. We're gonna watch all of the beautiful, there's Bree Bree. Trying to keep my hair. Still looking good from yesterday. Still looking good. Yeah. Under here. Uh, Loving uh, that for you. Wait for it to start. I will film it for you guys once it starts. It was a lot of fun. We went to Snowflake Lane. As you saw the whole little parade, it's really cool. They have the dancers and the characters and the fake snow and it's always a good time. And we decided to go to Red Robin after and I'm not even going to complain and tell you guys the whole tea about that because like I don't really like to go into all of that but it was a nightmare experience by the little clip you saw. Carmel's expression said it all. <laughs> I really wasn't feeling good. I came home. I was going to edit this video and we were going to film more, but then I just really started not feeling good. So I came home, I was like, I'm gonna go to sleep. I'll finish it in the morning. I woke up and I was just feeling even worse. So I went to urgent care. I will be fine. A lady issue is happening. Um, I'll be fine. It'll take a few days. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Just been resting. Literally me and Gus have been resting. Well, Georgia too, but Georgia's out there with Jeff now because she's a daddy's girl. He's just been cuddling me and keeping me company. We've just been in bed. I literally been napping most of the day. I would have liked to say that maybe I watched a couple Christmas movies, but I didn't. Wait, high five. Good boy, you're so smart. All of the sweet comments about Bree's haircut. She appreciates it all. She's loving it. She's just loving that haircut. It looks so cute on her. It's kind of making me want to do it. I don't know if I will because I really do love having long hair too, but who knows maybe maybe like in the summer you know like oh have a little summer change maybe I don't know we'll see I always talk big but then I don't <laughs> Jeff doesn't know yet Jeff I wanted to tell you who um who do you think won our sweater competition you you do think that yeah nope you I did yeah oh <laughs> Surprise. You're generally surprised. No, yeah, literally, I would say, honestly, probably 90% of people were were your team, Jeff, yeah. Oh. Uh-huh. You can look at the comments, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks, YouTube, for voting for me. <laughs> Did not think that he was going to win. Um, That was a lot of fun. That was probably one of my favorite videos so far in this Vlogmas, just because it was something we never did before. I thought it'd be fun maybe to share, because I was going to do this later on in Vlogmas, but it just feels right to include it here since it is kind of like a very cozy, chill kind of video. Well, I guess the first part of it wasn't very chill, but I really don't remember if I shared this last Vlogmas. So I'm sorry if I did already share it last Vlogmas. I'm going to make sure I don't share it next year again if I did. <laughs> but it's just one of my favorite memories as being a kid. And it just shows you like when you're a kid, ideas that you have in your mind. Like you just, uh, the story I'm about to tell you, my mom and dad didn't even know until I was in my 20s. Basically when I was younger, I used to think when I was like probably like seven-ish is I think like the earliest I remember doing this but I'd be so worried because my dad would tease me all holiday long like you're gonna get coal from Santa you're bad he would like he's just that's just who he is he's a teaser he always jokes around and messes around with me so he'd always be telling me I'm gonna get coal from Santa I'm bad so I'd always be so nervous <laughs> that I was gonna actually get coal 
for Christmas and my parents were gonna be so disappointed in me I was like so worried I was like oh my gosh we're gonna wake up Christmas morning we're gonna go out there and there's gonna be coal and my parents are gonna be so sad and so upset with me and it's just gonna ruin Christmas so I literally would plan like different toys that I had that I knew I didn't play with that much so like ooh, my parents probably don't remember those toys so I'll put those toys out there if Santa didn't give me anything so every morning before I would go wake them up on Christmas morning to go look at our gifts I would first peek out and see if I saw anything over by the fireplace and if I saw stuff by the fireplace which I did every year but <laughs> if I saw stuff I'm like okay whew, what a relief then I would go wake my parents up and we'd go about our day but I did that every year for a couple years but it's just funny to me looking back now like how worried I was about it and like my parents were like I had no idea that you did that and you were all worried about that like they kind of felt like it was just kind of funny that like I literally was so worried that I was gonna get coal and I actually had my whole plan in place because I didn't want to disappoint them it wasn't until one year that it kind of clicked in my brain and it was really funny um, and I finally told them because it like kind of reminded me of what I used to do when I was little um, me and my dad both got each other coal for Christmas on the same year neither one of us like because it's always been a joke forever obviously I was halfway traumatized as a kid <laughs> about getting coal for Christmas um, so every year we would always say oh you're getting coal and I would say to him you're getting coal even I was like 20 or 21 then we both finally decided to get each other coal for Christmas so it was absolutely hilarious that we both did it on the same Christmas neither one of us knew the other one was doing it never had done it before but we both finally decided to do it so and that like just triggered the memory and I told them about that so that was just a funny thing now looking back like just I don't know just the funny things that go through your head definitely something we always joke about and coal is still something we joke about in our family there was this um little you know singing doll that we had Gussie come here it's just daddy and sissy that would sing the I'm getting nothing for Christmas mommy and daddy are mad oh I'm getting nothing for Christmas cuz I ain't been nothing but bad does anyone know that song I had a little doll that would sing that and she was holding a little bag of coal <laughs> that definitely might have triggered some of the reasoning behind me sneaking around Oh man, let me know any funny holiday stories when you were a kid, anything that you thought that later on you realized like, how funny it was. I would love to hear your guys' stories. So thank you guys for hanging out with me on Vlogmas Day 13. And I know Gussie and me are just gonna go back to cuddling, probably eat some dinner and maybe watch a Christmas movie. Uh, thank you guys and remember to just be you. Bye guys.